What up, Brick Squad? I'm here with an amazing video. This is gonna be chess tips. I'm gonna do a separate video that highlights my favorite chess exercises, but this video is just tips for training your chest. How to get the most, how to get the most- Booby for your, your buck. <laughs> how to get the most boob for your buck. <laughs> nah, but, but seriously. Anyway, I am no longer gonna be posting vlogs on this channel. So if you are a member of the Brick Squad that loves my vlogs, go over to Exposed Bricks. There's gonna be a link on the screen and it's also gonna be in the description. I appreciate that. I'm just gonna be doing mainly sit down videos and gym workout tips videos. So all the vlogs, all my family stuff, all the behind the scenes. I got a lot of behind the scenes footage from Bricks Fitness on Exposed Bricks. So go ahead and subscribe to that. Tongue twister. Anyway, so first tip. You wanna make sure that you're working on shoulder mobility, especially if you love to do incline press because that exercise really compromises. It, it puts your, your shoulder health in a compromising situation. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys a few shoulder mobility workouts. So one of my favorites are the Passover. I like to do this with a, a pole, but they don't have a pole here, so you can use a resistance band. Do this. And really, I would spend about five minutes just doing shoulder mobility work. I also like to do these. And you, you see people in the gym doing them with dumbbells. I don't think that's correct. You wanna make sure that you're using a resistance band or a cable. And this definitely warms up your rotator cuff and gets your, gets your upper body ready for a serious load. All right, so that's the second one. So it's basically a shoulder press. Next thing you wanna make sure you're doing is actually activating your pecs, right? It's neuromuscular activation is super important. You get your nervous system woke up, it connects the, whatever the connection thing is between the nervous system and the muscles and gets you ready for some activity. So what I normally do is I like to do Sven press. Sven press is one of my favorites. You squeeze and you press out. Ooh, I feel that. Back in. Squeeze. But you gotta make sure you're squeezing with your mind. Like I could not be putting tension, but when I squeeze, that's when then the activation happens, so here. All right, yeah, another activation exercise that I use is the one arm low to high fly. Again, making sure that you're squeezing up and you keep the tension on there and you come down slowly. So in the negative portion of the move, you wanna make sure you're going down slowly. See, look, see how it puffs up at the top? Ooh. Squeeze the whole way, on the way up and on the way down. So this is the, this is the concentric part, squeeze, eccentric part, you're still squeezing even as you go down, all right? So I like to do slow motion push-ups. Now you wanna, you wanna experiment with your hand positions. Me personally, I feel more chest when my, when my hands are a little bit wider. So you wanna make sure that you um, experiment with your hand positions. I know here, I get, I get way more uh, triceps. triceps involved. But when I make my, my stance a little wider, my hands a little wider, it, it hits my chest. So I do slow motion. With the slow motion, is making sure that the chest is being activated. You see me shaking, man, it's because that slow motion ain't no joke. Yeah. But again, experiment with your hand positioning. Make sure you're positioning your hands in a place where you feel it. So before, I, I usually start off with one set with just the bar, with just the bar. And I usually do about 15 to 20 reps for two sets on my warm-ups. And don't be afraid to 
have a little speed for your warm-up sets, it's totally okay. All right, the next tip, you wanna make sure you're mixing it up. You have three types of chest exercises you can do. You can do a push, you can do a fly, or you can do some sort of calisthenics. Make sure that you are, like I said, mixing it up, right? Um, I usually do half pushes and half flies. That's my personal preference. And I also prefer to do my flies with cables. I do not like um, dumbbell flies, especially for beginners. Even for me, I'm not a beginner. I don't like, I think it puts your, your shoulders in comprom compromising positions. So I would stick to cable and all my fly, fly movements. And I actually prefer dumbbells in general. Now, if your goal is hypertrophy, if you're trying to build muscle and burn fat, then I would stick to dumbbells. If you're trying to build strength, that's where you would use the barbell more often. But me personally, and this is just my philosophy, right? This is just what I love to do. I like dumbbells better. All right, guys, before I get into the next tip, BrickSpinners.com is a wealth of information and also, if you're looking for guidance, matter of fact, if you are ready for guidance, get some information on the Bricks Fitness online coaching program. It is only for people who are ready though. I promise, if you're not ready, if you're still kind of kicking tires, wait, wait, because we're ready to make changes to people's lives. Uh, so anyway, the information for that is in the description below. We also offer custom meal plans and fitness programs. Again, the link is in the description, bricksfitness.com. The next tip, make sure you're getting enough value. If you are focusing on building a nice chest, you don't wanna just train chest once a week. Like when I had man boobs, my absolute goal was to get rid of them joints. So I had to make sure that I gave some special attention to chest. Don't just train once a week. Make sure you're getting at least 36 sets, 36 to 50 sets per week. And you're breaking down, you're, you're breaking that down into two chest days. So that's anywhere from three to four chest exercises, doing about four sets each exercise. So a total of 36 sets per week in that eight to 12 rep range. Keep your rest times low. All right, so the last tip, make sure you guys are stretching. I know it's not the fun part of exercise. I know, I remember feeling like it was a waste of time, but stretching is very, very vital. It elongates your muscles, it relieves tension, it helps you with soreness, which will essentially make your workouts more effective. Especially if you're gonna be training chest twice a week, you, you don't wanna cripple yourself. You wanna make sure that you, you're, you're actually uh, able enough, right? You're not super sore, where you can actually get a second workout, a, a second chest session in each and every week. So do not, do not, do not forget to stretch after your workout. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always guys, I'm just trying to share the wellness with you. So get well and get money.